Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the Gamer Pro Wars Lost TGP, and in today we're going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions of Infinite Warfare. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers have actually, you know, made this video, and I didn't want to put it out when they did because I know you guys are probably going to go ahead and watch it, and it's just going to be repetitive of what those YouTubers say. You know, the game is not good, the game is good, but I just want to, you know, wait a couple days and finally bring you guys this video and tell you what my actual thoughts, if I like the game, if I don't like it, and to tell you why I like it or I dislike it. So, without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. Now, I just want to start off by saying that every single Call of Duty has some sort of flaw. If it ranges between score streaks, guns, perks, uh, attachments, anything you guys can think about, every single Call of Duty has some sort of flaw that people didn't like. For example, in MW2, it was the noob tube, and COD4 was you know, the, the, the camos, and World at War, I, I don't even know about World at War, I didn't even play that game, but there's obviously people that, you know, are not fond of things in the Call of Duty, and then, you know, they just just deal with it pretty much, and that's what it is with Infinite Warfare. Obviously, they copied the advanced movements that were in Black Ops 3, and they specifically said that they took a lot from Black Ops 3, and, and you guys, they don't even have to tell you that to know that they took a lot. Let's you know, the combat rigs, some of the perks, the, uh, you know, the gun sometimes, you know, the Banshee, they took that, you know, the energy shotgun, which is the exact same thing. They also took the Winter Circle. I even made a whole video about what they took from Black Ops 3 and put in Infinite Warfare. If you guys want to go check that out, it is on my channel. And it's probably going to be in the first link down below in the description. So now we're getting a little bit off topic. What I wanted to say actually is for the first couple of hours, and I could say the first day or two, I enjoyed the Infinite Warfare beta. I thought it was really good and I thought I was going to enjoy it. But then I got to, I would say, Sunday. Day, right it was two days after I played the beta and I realized that I was playing the same thing over and over again people were using the same guns if it was the NV4 or the sniper rifle and then I just kept getting the same exact kills in the same exact you know situations and people just killing me way too often like and the the time to kill was awful because you know people were dropping you just instantly and that's what really annoyed me and not necessarily is Infinite Warfare a horrible game that I can't play. It's just not as smooth as Black Ops 3 was. The time to kill, as I've said, is really bad. The snipers have huge aim assists, and the hitbox for them is crazy. And I just wanted to put another thing out there, is that the variants that are in Infinite Warfare are kind of unfair. Like, why do you have to unlock a legendary variant to get a nuke on a gun? I feel like that's so stupid. And what kind of attachment allows you to get a nuke on a weapon? That Honestly, that just doesn't make sense. I feel like they should just let us have the nuke. No need for variants. They can, you know, switch it out for something else. But I just feel like the nuke, the big ending score streak, is supposed to be something that everybody's going to get no matter what and not supposed to be able to unlock in supply drops or have to get, like, like 2,500 salvage points, which is honestly not what I want to do. So another thing that I wanted to say is the lethals. Now, if you guys didn't know, there are about 10 lethals in Infinite Warfare, ranging between the black hole, the regular grenade, that, that, that radar thing, and it honestly is really stupid, to be honest. I think that instead of 10, they should lower it down to 6. I bet most of the people that played Infinite Warfare don't even know half of them because you didn't even get to the right level, or they, they, were, they just sucked or something like that, because I know that most people, the only thing that they were using is that black hole grenade as well as just the regular grenade. That's all I was using, and I didn't get to use the black hole because I didn't get to a specific level. So, I just want to say that I think they should stick it to around five to six lethals, not put it more than that because I think 10 is way too high up there. And the same thing with the tacticals. I think they have a lot, of, a lot of them as well. And I think they just need to reduce it by a little bit because if you saw in Black Ops 3, I believe there were only six lethals and six, you know, tacticals. Now, one thing that I did want to tell you guys, and it's been on my chest for a while now, is when I watched Modern Warfare Remastered, it really took me back to when I played MW2 and Black Ops 1 and also Black Ops 2. It really set me back because I love those games. And you guys know that MW2 was my favorite. And the communication in the background it was just so real and really took me back. And then I look back at Infinite Warfare and I'm like, how do I play this game? If you guys know what I mean. I know a lot of you guys can't agree with me with this. And... I was just like, it doesn't have as much dialogue into the game, it doesn't have anything. And then you just go into Modern Warfare Remastered and you see grenades, you can hear them so well, you can hear sniper shots, they are so real. You can hear the uh, AK-74U and just all the weapons, you, and the Desert Eagle especially, that weapon is insane, I'm telling you guys, that is just crazy. And they're adding, they're adding like these new camos and the Regal camo, and I think that it is just phenomenal. I think that is the game you guys are going to see a lot of on this channel because it just brings back a lot of me memories for me. And Infinite Warfare will be, I would say, the second Call of Duty under because unfortunately, when it came to that second week, I didn't have as much fun as I did in the first week. I'm just going to put that out there. Infinite Warfare is not in any way, shape, or form a bad game. I just, myself, 
didn't quite enjoy it as much as I want, want to. And I know with Modern Warfare Remastered, I am going to be grinding the hell out of that Regal camo and trying to bring you guys the first in the world Regal camo as much as I want to. You know, I have a lot of things going on, especially now on the weekends. That's why you guys don't see me, you know, uh, stream. And, it's, you know, it's really up and down right now. But I'm, I'm assuming after um, November 5th or November 4th, when Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered is coming out, everything should start slowing down and we should be getting back up to pace with uh, streams and videos. And now we're getting back off topic. But what I was saying is that snipers are a amazing just the sound of it and the grenades and the assault rifles and just the map and the rubble and everything it, it's just the exact call of duty that i've wanted now i know why people say oh we want boots on the ground because that's how call of duty is and i remember hearing someone i don't remember which call of duty said it but it's pretty much a nostalgic call of duty feel that we all know and love it was just like the world at war time, just like Battlefield 1. And that's why everybody's switching over because it's boots on the ground. And that's why people are not satisfied with Infinite Warfare is because one, they really messed up with the connection issues in the first day. These snipers were pretty bad. And just the, the uh, I would just say the environment of Infinite Warfare is not what people like. And for me, it's not anything of that, honestly. I enjoyed using the snipers. I didn't have a problem with them. I, th I feel like that it made me a better player, even though the, it had a shit ton of aim assist, and it probably made me the worst player for using it, but I still used it, and so did everybody else, because they wanted to get as many kills and get, you know, be happy and not just die every five seconds because of those tryhards that play in games. So I know this, guys, this was a long video, so if you stayed by and, you know, listen to this whole entire uh, yes and no's of Infinite Warfare, go ahead and leave hashtag TGP in the chat. I would really, uh, in the chat, oh gosh, that's what happens when you uh, haven't streamed in a while. But in just in the comment section, go ahead and leave hashtag TGP. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you're new, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.